Welcome back to Views on News. Uh, this is my buddy Jesse. Uh, we're going to talk today about the fact that after people are dying as a new ritual, uh, they are basically skinning their corpse. Uh, if they have like tattoos that they want to preserve and they make um, like leather displays of your tattoos like that they peeled off of your body uh, for you, like for loved ones to like uh, commemorate, memorialize their <laughs> their fallen loved ones that had cool artwork done on their body. Uh, and you have, you know, you have a lot of cool ass tats. You think about getting skinned later, or, you know? <laughs> That's a pretty savage thing to do, you know? Like, uh, sure, you got some good tattoos, uh, you know? Would you like uh, your family to rip off your raven claw and just, like, keep it in the display case, you if know? If you don't, like... you don't fucking love me. <laughs> if you skin me a lot, or, you know, even dead, uh, you probably don't love me very much, so... <laughs> See, it's just differences of it's opinion. Like, how long is that going to hang around for, though? You know how, like, your pictures collect dust after a while? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, your skin's already fucking dried out and dusty. Like, well, I mean, it's in, like, a case kind of like this from, like, the display picture I saw. But the weird thing was, like, they had, like, uh, little pinch things, like, holding the skin, like, spread apart, you know? Uh, yeah, like so otherwise it would shrivel. Exactly, it just shrivels. So it's, like, holding it all the way around in a display case like this. Uh, you know, like you picture you had a back piece and they were just like, let's just cut that son of a bitch off of there and then pin it and then we'll put it in a case and That's you can put it on your shelf. That's super savage. Bro. I mean, uh... So, hold, look, picture this. Uh, you're uh, dating some chick. It's like the third date. It's about to get physical. You go back to her place and you're like, uh, oh, that's an interesting like piece of art. What is that? And she's like, oh, that was like, uh, my grandpa was in World War II and I have his uh, chest on my uh, mantle uh he had like a really cool chest piece so i was like you know let's just dry that bitch out <laughs> and then we'll show people <laughs> it's like not even over the mantle but like in her room like over the bed so like as you're banging you're just thinking about your grandpa and just like looking down on you like dude you should be doing that way harder than that bro <laughs> <laughs> why are you judging so hard grandpa <laughs> She's like, I can turn it around if it bugs you. <laughs> like she has a picture of Jesus up on the wall. Too. <laughs> it's even almost worse in a way than Jesus because you almost know that guy's made up. But, you know, Grandpa <laughs> skinned up over the mantle. You're just like, damn, dude, he is looking down on me. Just like, <laughs> I better get some more grandkids out of this one. <laughs> you better make my fucking legacy live on. <laughs> <Don't> forget, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this one's getting pulled from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it would just be a little weird, I guess, uh, to think about somebody wanting to skin you and uh, keep parts of your body. I mean, body. you're dead, so, like, you know, Why do you really going to rot off anyway, right? True, I guess the bugs are going to eat right, it. They're either going to burn your dead body, which is equally as weird, I guess, and then carry around, like, ash that's, like, what happened to your body after they burned it, or they stick you in the ground and let bugs eat you. <laughs> True. In a, but, you know, in a plush, like, pillow top but really coffin though. for some fucking reason. Like, you need to be comfortable in there. You know? <laughs> 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 like, if, yeah, for my family, don't worry about it. You can just put me in, like, a shoebox, whatever you got laying around. I'm dead. <laughs> All right? Like, <laughs> yeah, please don't save me for any reason. I, you uh, don't need to spend 4000 on a coffin. It's fine. No, nah, you know, just toss me out in the wind for yeah. sure. Anyone fucks with my gold tooth, I'll haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have a gold tooth. It'd <laughs> <laughs> be dope if I did, though. I think I'm about getting one. <laughs> <laughs> just a front one for sure, dude. Oh, for sure, yeah. That way, uh, when I'm dead, someone's got my gold tooth and my fucking raven tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking better memorialize me. <laughs> but, uh, like, thinking about it from a perspective where somebody uh, knows uh, you, they would be thinking about your tattoos probably the most. So right. that would be, like, uh, commemorizing you in a way, but... See, I think, like, if it was a painting of your tattoos or, True. like, you with your tattoos, it wouldn't be weird whatsoever. I think the fact that they have your, like, dead flesh, like, drying out. That is a little sketchy. Case, 
is like where the weird shit comes yeah, in. Yeah, I'm you saying, <laughs> not if this is like the third date with like this new chick you're hanging out with and you go to her house right. and then all of a sudden you see the skin, but like say it's a drunken night and like you just end up at this chick's house randomly and you look up at this head skin, um, I'm probably going home to masturbate for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Can I wear that on my face while fucking, we have sex? Who are, am I having sex with a fucking Hamill Electric fucking she male over here? You know she eats ass. Because, uh... <laughs> <laughs> if uh she's got like dead skin laying around and shit you know she's freaky she's freaky dude <laughs> yeah, she's freaky <laughs> uh, you're like is that a forearm that you have uh stretched out across your your wall there no like, that's yeah. my uncle's ass cheek actually <laughs> i've got it sewn up uh he had, he had a, a tiger tattoo, tattoo on the back <laughs> <laughs> Tiger pouncing a donut hole. <laughs> <laughs> My aunt actually got a uh, Target uh, tattooed on her butthole, so we've got it stretched out and opened up over our mantle here. <laughs> Too far, Jesse. Oh, dude. oh my gosh. I can already read the comments. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, so. It's weird on a lot of fucking levels, but it's kind of cool in the sense of a lot of people have some cool ass artwork. Uh, you know, and if you think about it, if it's a hundred year old piece of skin that someone had in their house, you'd be like, oh, that's kind of cool. They got fucking like some king's back piece in their house, you know? But yeah, if it's your third date and your chick, some chick's got her grandpa's like fucking World War II tattoo uh, memorialized, you know, like some candles around that shit or something. Nah. <laughs> it's a little hard awkward, pass. you That's know. I would definitely be expecting to pass out and all of a sudden wake up to her busting in the room with a chainsaw to rip off all my tattoos. Uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's like always just like finger dragging them, tracing them. What are you like? What? Are you, why are you always like touching my shit? Dude? <laughs> oh, I'm just picturing how it sliced. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrap this around my lamp. <laughs> Like, so that's not any of your ex-boyfriends that you have hanging in your display case, right? We're good? Yeah, that's your grandpa, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it says your name. <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much. All right, <laughs> let's end that fucking topic. Creepy, don't do it. It's cool if you got, like, fucking Hitler's backbeats or some shit, you know, put it in a museum, but you third date. Not cool. <laughs> yeah, don't be bringing that shit to your house because it's awkward <laughs> for any to walk into. Uh, it's the third date or the third time meeting you. If I come over to your house and you got some skin stretched out and shit, uh, that's probably the last time I'm going to be over there for sure. If uh, some kid you go to school with has that shit, like at his house, uh, make friends with that kid so that when he shoots up your school, uh, <laughs> he spares you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you know? Yeah, at least put you in the plans to have a gun or something too, so that way uh, you're gonna live. <laughs> He's most likely gonna shoot you, is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're out. That shit wasn't controversial at all. <laughs> <laughs>